We just got up this morning a little bit ago and let the animals out. And I came out and one of the ewes did not come out of the barn. So I thought I'd go back and check on her. And look what we have. Huh, babies? She only had twins. I thought for sure she was going to have more. She was so big. You are so cute. All right, I'll give you that. Let's see while you're eating if I can see what your babies are. Oh my goodness. So here is our first little lamb. Look how sweet. How sweet. And it is a boy. We got a boy. You are skinnier, but taller. I bet you're a girl because you're squirmier. The girls are always squirmier and noisier. You are a girl. One girl, one boy. Yeah your babies and we need to go into the other pen. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Look. Look. Come here. Come on. You can't be that dumb. You gotta figure this out. Come on. Honey, you gotta go that way. You gotta go around. You know how to get in there. I have both of your babies. Can you follow me? There. there you go. Very stressful. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get you into a stall with hay and water. They're okay. I didn't hurt them. They're all right. You look okay. Yes. Your little girl has a black nose like you. And your little boy's all white. The camera's not going to get your baby either. It's okay. Are you stomping at the camera? Saying no pictures? You didn't give permission? All right, so that was the first lambs we've ever had born on this farm. One boy and one girl, so exciting. We should have some more, at least one mama, that's probably due here in another couple weeks. All right, so they're cozied in their stall with food and water, so I'm just gonna let them be for a while and we'll come back and check on them later. So we had another ewe give birth, so she just had one lamb, so we got a total of three lambs now. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna try to ear tag them today and then the Latest lamb, we don't know whether it's a boy or a girl yet. So this here is the one that was the smallest you, and that's her one lamb right there laying against the door. She's very skittish. So we don't think that she's gonna want us to handle her babies or, or look at them. She's gonna be very protective, so we don't know how that's gonna go. We're gonna go in the other stall first. Yeah, she's, she's a, a lot more used to me. She lets me pick her babies up. She's the friendliest. Yeah, so we'll do the easy one first, and then we'll see how this other one goes. We might be able to do it in there with her. What no, do you think? I think we'll have to bring them out oh, one okay. at a time. Okay. So Let's just... She doesn't freak out. So this is the female. She's got black feet. She's got some black spots on her. We will be keeping her. She's sweet. So these are our two lambs that were born a couple days ago. Um, this is the boy and this is the girl. The boy will be going to market when he's old enough. And the mama's getting a little, she's brushing my leg like, Yeah, she's getting, she's getting a little nervous. She does not like the camera. She's gonna pee on me. She's gonna pee on your foot. She's not happy with you. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, let me clean your ear. I don't want to hurt. Okay. Hold on, and I'll hold. Okay. Right between the cartilage. Right there. Yeah, it's kind of hard. There you go. Here. 
All done. Tagged. First one tagged. Yep, little girl, purple. I'll clean his ear. Clean the inside. I know, it's cold. Trying to make sure I get it in between. There there you go. go. Go back to mama. All right, the first one went good. No problems there. Um, so now we got to get this baby lamb. He's right next to the door. Yep. Rebecca's going to try to swoop in and get him. We'll see how this goes. I got it. Oh, sh All right, Rebecca was able Swooped to get the in, baby. Got the baby as a boy. Uh, oh. She's upset. She's upset. Your baby's okay. All right, so this one, it's okay. Mom is definitely this one not happy. That was just born last night is a boy. We got two boys and one girl. Yep, we're gonna we're, get this one tagged. Yep, and get him back with his mama. Right. There you go. All, All done. done. All done, baby. Now I'm back with mama. All right. <laughs> See, that wasn't bad. Hold on, now they can nurse. So we decided to ear tag right after they're born, or at least the next day or so after they're born, because mm -hmm. it'd be easier to handle at this point in time. And they've, uh, the mamas were vaccinated for CDNT, so they should still have that immunity from the mother. So they should be good. And then they get a booster CDNT in like- A couple months. Yeah, in a few months, yeah. the babies will get a shot and that will, give them another boost. <laughs> I guess. That'll be good for a year after that. Yeah. So we ended up using tags from Premier One Supply. These are the like the one and a half or 1.5 Qflex tags. I think they're kind of the smallest tags that they offer. And we've decided to go with like a color code system for the for the sheep. Mm -hmm. So all the boys are getting orange yeah. because they're going to be slaughter lambs. They're going to go to market. Gonna go to market. And all the girls that are are Ram Moe's daughters, mm -hmm. all of his daughters are getting purple. So then we know, um, well, we plan on getting another Ram later. So we'll have a second Ram and all of his daughters will be in the other Ram's flock, basically. Yeah. So we know who to breed to who. Yeah, so that way we're not inbreeding any of the, the stock. So that's our, that our plan is for the future is we're going to have a total of three colors. There's going to be yellow for the other uh, set of use from the other ram. From the other ram once we get him, which we don't have that yet. And then we'll have orange for the slaughter uh, boys and then purple for Moe's daughters. So yep. hopefully that's <laughs> way too much explanation <laughs> probably. So we did notice a lot of people did. Um, basically tag left ear or right ear, whether it was male or female. And we just decided just to go more with the color code system rather than trying to select which ear is what gender. Yeah. And I it, wouldn't remember which ear was which. Yeah, and I mean, the colors are gonna be easy to just ident identify from far away as mm -hmm. well. So, but anyway, they're tagged and we're gonna let them stay with their mamas and get to know each other. This this one set has been in there with the mama. She's they're two days old now. Yes. So we're probably to the point of starting to let them roam. Yeah. Here pretty soon. We'll, we'll let them out, and they'll probably just stay in the barn at first, and then slowly work their way out to the pasture over the course of a few days. The mama will keep them close until she feels comfortable. Yeah. But we have one more you that's due any day, and yeah. right now they're one day apart. So we may have more today. So here's our other two ewes. This one right here, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, she's the pregnant one that could go anytime. This one here is just like a yearling. She's just over a year old. We may throw her back in with the ram, but um, we've got them lined up where they can only go in this small pasture right here behind the barn. They can't go out to this pasture over here anymore. That way in case she drops a lamb, she's at least somewhere close to the barn for us to get her back here and in a stall. So hopefully, if she does go into labor, she'll come up to the barn or she'll at least come up to the back of the barn and do it. But let's wait and see. So it's the next day now. We don't have any more lambs. We still just have the three. But this girl back here, she's pretty big. 
Um, so she could probably have twins probably here any day soon. So we're just gonna keep our eye out and hopefully she has at least one girl. We're really trying to build the herd up a little bit. So we would like to have girls preferably. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So Rebecca, um, she came out here and filmed the very beginning of this video. She normally doesn't do that. She had to put all the camera and microphone equipment together. She came out here before her coffee in the morning and she filmed that. And I, th I do appreciate her doing that. And I thought she ended up doing a pretty good job. So um, that is not normally her thing. So I think that's gonna be it for this one because now I'm gonna move on to cutting down some trees and chipping some wood. So I'll probably put that in a different video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you next time.